All right, what's going on, guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video review for The Walking Dead Trade Paperback Volume 4, A Heart's Desire. And uh, this one collects issues 19 through 24. Uh, as you know, or if you haven't seen my other videos, I'm doing every trade paperback uh, volume of The Walking Dead from 1 up to where we're at right now in the series. Um, and henceforth, reviewing the entire comic book series. Now, if you're someone that has not read the comic book series, these will contain spoilers. However, uh, if you don't, you know these are kind of been out for a long time now. So if you haven't read it yet, I assume you're probably not. You probably don't want to, and you just kind of want to know what's going on. You know, see what the story is about, and give a summary too. So if you're not into comic books, cool. I'll explain the story, explain what happens in each volume, so you can kind of get an idea. And you know, if you like the TV show, compare it to that. Get ideas of where the comic book differs from the TV show, or vice versa. Um, so in this issue, or volume we basically get to see the characters um, battling for control of the prison with this other character named Dexter. Uh, we left off in the last issue Dexter having Lori as well as Rick and the other characters in Rick's group at gunpoint so to speak and uh, Rick taking the lead and sort of dealing with that situation as you can see right there at the top you've got Dexter there and he is um, you know vying for control telling Rick to leave essentially Rick asking, where did you get the guns from that he has? Because he just got guns out of nowhere. Uh, Dexter informing him that he got it from A Block. And essentially, Rick um, you know, knows that A Block is full of walkers. So the next thing you know, uh, walkers start coming out there. You can see at the top and uh, in the middle here, Tyrese at, at the right side there uh, tosses Rick a gun. And uh, we get to see some pretty cool zombie action, zombie shooting scenes. I like this collage page right here where we get to see... You know, like just zombies just getting shot left, right, and center, just plowed down, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Uh, we also see the first appearance of Michonne in this issue as she saves Otis, who is still alive at this point. You can see her there cutting up some zombies, having some fun, saving Otis. Uh, and then um, uh, while that's going on, more shooting of the, the walkers in A Block. They're sort of laying them out. As you can see there, there's Rick. You got Dexter in there, Tyrese, everybody else. Uh, you know, defending themselves, so to speak. And then Rick makes one of the most, uh, you know, character-changing decisions he does in the entire series at the top there. Blam! Where he decides to shoot and essentially murder uh, Dexter as a result of what was happening earlier with Dexter telling them to leave and pu putting him and uh, Lori uh, and the rest of them at gunpoint. Um, yeah, so, you know, shooting and killing him and then walking away like a G saying... Cry me a river <laughs> with his head down. So very cool. Uh, after that, we get to see some uh, cool character development from Rick. He's sort of uh, kind of, I don't want to say regretting, but he kind of like, you know, it's just kind of thinking about things, maybe doing a little introspection, thinking about the situation, what he had to do. Tons of walkers at the gate now. They sort of devised a way to try to clear them out. Uh, yeah, over here, as you can see, there's a walker there. He's sort of looking around. He's trying to get in, and you see the knife start there. And then pretty cool uh, art here that I've actually seen on t-shirts where Thuck, he gets stuck there. And then down below that, you get to see the, the blade come out. And we find out that Glenn has created this contraption with uh, just a, like basically a knife and a little piece of a board or something to not allow the knife to slip through. So that's that. Pretty cool. After that, we get to see uh, the meat and potatoes of this issue, which is... Uh, as you can see in the cover here, Tyrese and uh, his female issues, A Heart's Desire. Uh, we don't know actually on the cover who this is. It could be Carol, it could be Michonne, there's really no way to know for sure. I mean, I kind of thought it was Carol at first, but kind of looking at the nose, I kind of think it's Michonne. Uh, no racism there, um, but it just is what it is. Uh, anyway, um, then we see uh, Alan, who gets, um, who gets bit on the leg there when they're sort of going through the prison. He's a character that we've never seen in the television show as far as I can remember right there and he's kinda useless. He doesn't really do much in the, in the series, he just dies basically. They find a generator there that they can use for power at the prison which is uh, pretty cool too. They try to save Alan, they fail and he ends up bleeding out and dying. Rick tries cutting off his leg where he got bit as you can see there and it doesn't work. He ends up uh, Hands up dying. Herschel tries to save him because Herschel's there now, but it doesn't work. This is a cool scene here where at the top you get to see all the zombies across. Down below, uh, Carl and Sophia. As you can see, Sophia is still alive uh, in the comic book series, which differs from the TV show as well. I'll also be talking about whatever you know differs from the show versus the books because I think that that's cool to highlight. 
Uh, also, the, the stories are very different, very, very different and not the same. Um, then the main issue here is Michonne's now here, and so she pretty much, uh, being that she was alone for so long, she kind of, uh, you know, goes after what she wants, and <laughs> she goes after Tyrese, and uh, he doesn't stop her. Pretty cool page right here. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. So I don't know. And then at the bottom here, the main part is that uh, Carol sees it, catches him, and all that. So then Carol uh, sort of loses her sense to live, so to speak and um, kicks Tyrese out of their cell where they're sleeping because of course they're in the prison now and uh, decides to attempt to commit um, suicide. Right there, Rick sees it, flips a lid, and then we get to see one of the coolest uh, fist fight scenes in all of The Walking Dead where, crack, Rick is mad at Tyrese and Tyrese loses it, starts going at him. And they, you know, they fight back and forth. Lots of cool, you know, fist fighting sequences and all that. Pretty neat. Like it. Very good stuff. Um, they, No one really wins. They kind of fight to a draw, so to speak. But Rick is a little bit more messed up later on. And then when Rick wakes up, he sort of finds out that Carol is uh, still alive, but uh, mentally in bad shape. And she sort of heard what he did for her. So she makes an advance on him. Uh, let me see here. Where is it? Here it is right uh, next page. There it is, right there. And so then he, of course, Rick rejects her because of, you know, obviously uh, his family and everything. Um, and so, you know, leaving her sort of in limbo, being alone and all that kind of stuff. And it just, you know, you know, her life just kind of sucking just uh, in general. Um, and then probably one of the coolest quotes in all of The Walking Dead, which is where Rick says, um, we are the Walking Dead. After they're talking about whether or not someone is going to come and um, you know rescue them, so to speak, like military or something, because it's not it's not going to happen, basically. Um, so that's that's probably one of the coolest splash pages. I think I've seen this on posters too, maybe T-shirts. I don't remember if there's any T-shirts that have that on it, but it's definitely one of the coolest uh, lines in all of uh, the Walking Dead. Most one of the most thought provoking, uh, in that of course it implies that the story actually refers to in the title refers to the survivors and not actually the zombies. So The Walking Dead is actually referring to the people, Rick, his family, their group, people they meet, and not actually referring to the zombies. So that's pretty deep, thought-provoking, kind of cool. Uh, in terms of this this trade paperback, I love it, absolutely love it. Um, them sort of getting, um, you know, taking control of the prison, that becoming their home, so to speak, fighting for it. And then, of course, uh, a fight scene with Tyrese and Rick, sort of similar to what happened in Better Angels in Season 2 with Shane. And, um, you know, just ending off really cool with that thought-provoking quote from him. So in terms of score, I'm going to give this um, volume a 9 out of 10. I think it's great. Uh, I don't think it's one you should skip if you're if you're looking to read through the entire series and you haven't read it yet. Definitely should check it out because of that quote at the end and also the development in Tyrese's character um, with all the issues that he's having and all of that, as well as Carol. By the way, Carol is a completely different character in here than she is in the television series. She's a different age and everything. Like in here, she's probably like late 20s. And in the television show, she's like probably 40 or 50 or something. Uh, she's also, you know, fairly uh, clean looking, good looking, that kind of stuff. And uh, in the television show, I don't, I don't mean to say she's ugly, but... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's that. Uh, love this issue. I'm going to be, I'm probably going to, I'm going to try to put them out uh, two, every two days. Every other day, I'm going to try to release uh, a review of the vol of the volumes. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, um, you know, do it straight through without taking any kind of breaks or, you know, taking a day off here and there. But I'm going to try to get through them all and um, so add them to like a playlist. So if you guys are interested, you can watch my uh, reviews, summaries of every trade paperback of The Walking Dead. And so you can kind of get my thoughts on the comic book series as a whole in detail instead of just like a general review, you know, that's five or ten minutes. Actually looking at, you know, specifics of the show. So that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you for the next one. It's Travis saying later. Uh, peace.